In this episode we'll create breakable blocks. Here I have a simple block consisting of Sprite and Collider 2D. I create a new script and call it Hittable Block. I add the script to the game object. Inside the script I create a serialized variable of type Unity event. It will allow me to customize the actions that happen when the block is hit. Then I add on collision enter 2D method, and inside of it I check if the object that collided with the block has the player script assigned to it. Inside the if I add one extra condition to make sure that the block has been hit from below. And if both of the conditions are met, I invoke the action stored inside of the hit variable. Because I'm using the unit event, I can select the actions using the inspector. First I add new action, then I drag and drop the object that the action will be executed on, and at the end I select the actual action. In this case, the activating game object. Fantastic! Now let's make it a little bit nicer by adding the particles to it. I add new empty object and call it hit particles. Then I add particles system component to it. I scroll down to the renderer section and inside of it I adjust the sorting layer and order in layer. Now I create a new material. I change the shader to Universal Rendering Pipeline, Particles, Unlit. Then as a base map I select the block sprite. Now it's time to assign the material to particle system. Then we also have to adjust the max particle size. Now I enable the color over lifetime. I change the gradient to go from full opacity to full transparency. Then I scroll to the very top and change the gravity modifier to 1. I disable looping. In the emission section I change the rate to 0 and add single burst with count 20. Now I only have to change the stop action to destroy. Now I drag and drop the whole game object into the project window to turn it into prefab. We'll need a simple script. Let's call it Spawner. Now let's assign it to the block object. At the very top of it I create serialized variable of type game object. Then I create a public method called Spawn. Inside of it I instantiated the object stored in the variable we added. Exactly at the position of the spawning object and with default rotation. Now in the inspector as the object variable I assign the hit particles prefab. Now on our hitable block script I select two actions. First I call the spawn method on the spawner script and then as previously I deactivate the game object. Fantastic! Now we can turn the block to prefab to make it reusable. And we are done. Long live free Ukraine, glory to the heroes, and bye bye.